Hey guys, welcome to my channel Economics at a Glance. Well guys, I hope you all found the first mock test useful. So I'm here with the second mock test regarding the same basic concepts of economics which I have covered in my last lectures. So let's get started. First one, the concept of indifference curve for studying consumer behavior is based on well, consumer behavior indifference curve that is based on ordinal approach. Here is your answer. Next, the concept of indifference curve was given by the scientist J.R. Hicks. Next, indifference curves are dash to origins. Well, what is the shape of indifference curve? It is convex to origin. Why it is convex? Due to diminishing marginal rate of substitution. Okay. In indifference curve analysis, MRS, that is marginal rate of substitution for X and Y is change in Y divided by change in X. Okay. Next, in between two indifference curves, there can be dash number of indifference curve. Well, in between two indifference curve, that can be any number of indifference curve. And what it denotes? The indifference curve become right to another it will denote higher amount of satisfaction and in case of leftward it will denote lower amount of satisfaction okay in indifference curve analysis the price line is also called price opportunity line correct budget line it is also correct price income line it is also correct so the answer is all of this next when the price of one good changes the budget line well, when price changes, budget line rotates. But when money income changes, then it will shift. Okay. Next, when the money income increases, see, money income increases, the budget line will shift. But it shift to, as it is increasing, so it shift to right. Clear? Next. Next is in between two indifference curve. Number of intersection points are 1, 2, 0, any number. See, in properties what I have mentioned, two indifference curve are never intersecting. That means they are non-intersecting. As they are non-intersecting, so the intersection points will be 0. Okay. Next, the indifference curve lying left to another one shows... Well, I have told right to another shows higher satisfaction. Here left, that means lower satisfaction. The slope of indifference curve is called as marginal rate of substitution. In case of indifference curve, it is marginal rate of substitution. The slope of budget line, I have told it is price ratio. So price ratio is Px divided by Py, that is price of x divided by price of y. Next, the difference between willingness to sell and what he actually sold. See, it is the matter of selling. That means this is producer surplus. Clear? Then the sum of consumer surplus and producer surplus is called economic surplus. Consumer equilibrium is otherwise called point of balance. I have mentioned in my lecture why it is point of balance because it is the point where we can get maximum profit and minimum loss. So this is the point of balance. Well, next is Gossen's first law. What is Gossen's first law? LDMU, that is law of diminishing marginal utility. And LEMU is Gossen's second law. Next is the point of tangency between the indifference curve and budget line is called as consumer equilibrium. And recently we have covered this part. The tangency point between indifference curve and budget line is consumer equilibrium. Next is at point of tangency between indifference curve and budget line where we found consumer equilibrium. At that point slope of IC and slope of budget line that should be equal. Why equal? Because I have mentioned there what happened it is greater than and what happened if it is less than. So it should be equal. Next is welfare definition is criticized by the scientist that is Lionel Robbins who gave scarcity definition of economics. Well I have discussed all those in the lectures. 
If you have not seen the video, you can easily access to that. I have mentioned all those links in the description box. So next, next is economics is queen of social science. It is stated by the scientist Paul Samuelson who gave the growth definition of economics. Clear? Okay, so with this, the second mock test got over. I hope you all find this mock test useful also. So to continue with the further important series of economics, stay with my channel and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.